Good morning, everyone. My name is Sean, and this is my day six update. So, there are some changes to the tank. The 2.6 gallon Pico saltwater flew all spec three. Um, as you recall from the last video, uh, the live rock is now slightly different. I took the one big piece out and put it in back in my 10 gallon tank. And I took a couple of smaller pieces from my 10 gallon and put them in here. Adds a nice little cave for whatever to hang out in. And kind of gives the tank a more interesting layout. Also, I've added a couple of critters. I'm now um, using a damsel. And I've also got a clown goby hanging out. And I've got a hermit crab. which I believe was in the tank the last time. And in addition to that, there is now a small cruel banded shrimp in the tank. He's hiding back there behind the, the tall rock. And he molted in a tank since the last time I made a video and added him to the tank. And one more addition is a Nasarius snail. And I'm not sure where the snail is right now. But he likes to hang out behind this one piece of live rock back here. So there's the clown goby. He just kind of hangs out. Doesn't really move around a whole lot. Just lays between the live rock. And let's see if we can get a nice shot of that banded shrimp. So he's a coral banded with a yellow body and he does not get as large as the standard white bodied coral banded shrimp. So I think he will be able to live comfortably in the Pico tank. And I think the final additions to the tank will be uh, two sexy shrimp when they come in in a couple weeks. And that will be it. Um, I may move the damsel to one of my larger tanks at that point, but right now I'm just going to have the damsel hang out to help clean up some of the food that I'm adding in to cycle the tank. So I've got some brine shrimp that I've prepared, that I'm gonna go ahead and pour in. Oh, lost the cap. Damsel loves the shrimp.
So if you're wondering what happened to the Maroon Clown, he is actually in my 10-gallon tank. Along with another baby Maroon that I'm trying to pair up. And once they pair up, I will go ahead and move them into my big tank, my 125-gallon. So as far as the water goes, I did a water test last night and uh, nitrate is still at a high level, but nitrite and ammonia are pretty much non-existent right now. And I plan to do another water test in the next day or two to see where everything is. And I would guess that um, after it's been a week, maybe I'll go ahead and do a 30 to 50% water change. Um, as you can see, the water evaporates pretty quickly in this tank. So this type of project does require you to, to keep track of the water, especially with the the water level necessary to keep the filtration going. So that's the day six update for uh, the Fluval Spec 3 Pico tank. Thank you for watching my video.